be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better worlds. Any news from Lisey Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria.
Welcome, Administrator Hayes. I thought what I the hell you. was aboard the Bensonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? our communication system. Why would they do that? They're, they're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off world. Ugh. No, there's no choice. I could stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland Yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Warning, three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentaville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by, stand by.
Engaging targets. you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hansel, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They are designed for planetary quarantine, but Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's. It's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah? You know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit! There she goes! Fuck! Follow her down, Hunslet! No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss.
Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs heard to- You Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckles have to support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons, hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Have a nice day, Administrator. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes. 
Which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer'd run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh. I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. So, hostile critters, a wiped out colony, Hunslet being Hunslet. How'd you find your first day in the core? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. If it helps, you're doing okay. Thank you. I'm glad it's over. My nerves are shot. Oh, it ain't never over. But for now, we got some time. Good. Gives me a chance to work on the comms. If only we could hear from Director Price and Pharaoh Spire. We could use her help. Dr. Becker's been trying the whole time we were deployed. It turns out most long-range transmitters are down. If someone's home at Pharos, they probably can't pick up. Do you think those things can be there too? Judging by what happened on Pioneer, it's clear that they're spreading extremely fast. Then you'd better get familiar with the Otago right now. You can't give those creatures the benefit of time. Ah, Administrator. I wanted to... Oh. Going that badly, is it? I'll get back to you on that. Can I do something for you? Actually, yes. I was hoping you might persuade Sergeant Harper to retrieve some samples of the creatures. One can never have too much information about one's enemies. I didn't know you worked in corporate espionage, Doctor. <laughs> Very droll. On the other hand, I do find that science and skullduggery have a surprising overlap. Both require focus and a keen eye for detail. One supposes. True enough. And you're right. We need more information on these things. I'll talk to the sergeant. Stay safe out there. Chief Engineer Corrigan, isn't it? We met before. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that, I... You had your hands full. Things look better now. They are. Came together faster than I thought. Ain't pretty, but we're functional and I hope stable. Harper told me we got splashed after some kind of failure in the planetary quarantine protocols. Something called Cerberus? That's what's going around, certainly. More corporate corner cutting. What a fucking mess. Anyway, I should be able to produce equipment for our Marines now. Anything I can do to help? Well, I don't think this ship will ever be spaceworthy again. But that doesn't mean we have to abandon her. It could be shelter, you know? For these people. For us. The only problem is dear Otago took a beating. I got holes to patch, cables to reconnect. Our cryo chambers, our shield, their history. In short, we're missing materials. Spare parts to turn into upgrades for both our guys and the ship. Look, no promises, but we could ask the Marines to check for materials in Dead Hill storehouses during their next visit. It all helps. Administrator Hayes. What brings you to my corner of the Otago? Sergeant Harper says I should take a look around. He's probably trying to keep me busy. Yeah, the devil loves idle hands. I can't give you a tour. We're still digging through the wreckage. How does it look? Well, we've more portable weapons than we've got Marines to carry them. So if you find anyone out there with training, you point them in my direction. As for the ordnance, it's pretty much scragged. What about the emergency escape vehicles? <laughs> that satellite relay idea of yours, huh? Yeah, Harper told me. If we can get the fuel linkages repaired, we might salvage one EEV. But I'd be damned before I let you play with the only life pod we have left. And how useful is a single life pod on a crashed ship exactly? Yeah, you're pretty convincing. I'll give you that. All right, take it. But keep me updated. Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study. And Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other, is there? True enough. 
All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper. Your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, it could help. People should know. They have the right to you know. You mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. This conversation's over. did good today, Administrator. Not good enough. We need to broadcast, or more colonies will end up like Dead Hills. Ease down. We have no proof of that. What we have is a lead. That container transited from Berkeley's dock. That's Lethe's main spaceport. Someone's dispatched those crates on purpose. What kind of psycho would do that? Sergeant, we've seen those things in action. You know we don't have time to chase boxes. Oh. But we have time to build our own private satellite? Listen, Martinez reckons the surviving EEV can be repaired. We rig it with boosters and a comms repeater, maintain it in low orbit, push a message to a working relay, and we can- Did you listen to what I just said? Somebody used that container so the Dead Hills could live up to its name. What if there's more of those crates around, huh? As this Director Price of yours still isn't taking any calls, we're the only one trying to find where they came from. If we don't, more folk are gonna die. And even more if no one ever hears about what happened on this damn planet. If you really want to save everyone, Sergeant Harper, I suggest you start thinking beyond Lethe. I was born here, Hayes. These are my people. I won't leave them to die. I didn't know. I mean, I'm sorry, Sergeant. Listen, you're right. Berkeley's a big spaceport. We'll probably find both people and quality spare parts there. I say we catch them both. Roger that. But in the meantime, can you check in with Becker? He's been pestering me like you wouldn't believe. Dr. Becker, you wanted to see me? Indeed, I did. That specimen you've recovered offered outstanding research possibilities. Have you had the chance to review my initial report on the Xeno samples? I've barely slept. Oh, yes. Of course. Well, suffice to say, they're absolutely fascinating. I feel my muse gathering herself to action. All manner of breakthroughs tantalize just beyond my fingertips. Long-term benefits aside, I've already had some ideas about how to improve our gallant Marines' equipment. But I need more samples. These creatures are dangerous, Doctor. Not when they're dead. And if we took one alive? Well, nothing's impossible. This lab has a containment cell built for such encounters. Perhaps we could use it. A live specimen? On board? A absolutely not. I'm simply trying to make myself useful. Listen, Doctor, I, I get it. But the Marines will stick with samples, and so should you. We can't have one of those things getting loose on here. What the hell have we stumbled into? Ravenous bugs, some kind of crazy cult? This is above my pay grade. Mine too, for what it's worth. Too bad they didn't pay you enough. With you in charge of that station, I'm sure those damn platforms wouldn't have fired. About that, Sergeant Harper. Cerberus didn't start because of a systems failure. I... set it in motion. I had to ensure containment. You've seen what those creatures can do. If only one of them escaped, we so would have you all- trapped every soul on this planet with this creature? In the blink of an eye? Well, congratulations, Hayes, when it comes to badass your state-of-the-art. 
Now get off my bridge! Sergeant, I can help. Good. We've got some new facilities online. You're an administrator. You never know. There might be something for you to administrate. Sure. I'm on it. Ah, Administrator. Are you here to return my EEV? Sorry to disappoint you, Sergeant Martinez, but I need it. We need it, in fact. But I heard the training center was up and running, and I wanted to see for myself. That it is. Time to make them into real Marines. Good, because we're up against it. These creatures are faster than us, stronger than us, and they're smart. If we're to survive, we need everyone in peak condition. Don't you worry, none. Was there anything else? Well, just one thing. Sergeant Harper, does he seem all right to you? Look, I know soldiers talk, but he is in command. End of story, you hear? That's not what I... Forget it. Sure. See you soon. Ah, Administrator Hayes. It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Dr. Kabiri, clinical psychologist. And Dr. Bogart's assistant, when I have nothing better to do. Oh. I can't imagine something more important than what's happening in the medbay. Never underestimate combat fatigue. That's the first thing they told us. These Marines are under a great deal of stress. If we don't help them process it, things will turn nasty real fast. You're right. I should have considered that. Well, let me know if you need anything. For now, the only thing I need is to know everybody's all right. So, how are you doing, Administrator Hayes? You're very kind. I'm... maintaining. Don't worry about me. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Here's that word again. Got a minute, Hayes? I do. Although I should probably finish turning our EEV into a proper satellite. And you'll keep working on that, but right now we've got intel on those containers we found. And I intend to follow that lead. Maybe even track down this Marlowe we keep hearing about while we're at it. Sergeant Harper, thanks to the parts you provided, we have a chance to inform people of what's happening here. Assuming we don't strip the payload, we just need to scrounge up some fuel boosters. I've already identified the limits of low orbit, and if we Listen. can- Listen. Except for the trouble they cause. My men found out these containers had only one thing in common. They were dispatched from a dig site named Olduvai. We go there, we might have a chance to stop this infestation once and for all. That's not what we agreed. I need help on the EEV- We didn't agree on anything. You made a decision and I went along with it. This is my ship, these are my marines, and we've got folk in harm's way. You don't like my priorities? You can keep playing with your toy and leave us to it. But this is happening. Sergeant, I'm trying something. Ho hold on. Martinez, give me a hand. More. Everything you've got. I'm launching it in 30 seconds. Hayes? What are you doing? Hayes! Hunzit, keep your distance. I have one satellite turned bomb coming in hot. Wait a minute. A bomb? That's our way out, Marines! Move out!
Not bad, Hayes, for a corporate drone. Not that I ain't grateful, but why'd you do it? Your satellite just went up in smoke. In the company, there's a protocol for everything. Until there isn't. Ever since Pioneer Station, I've been drowning. The big picture gave me something to hang on to, but at the end of the day, the big picture is just... people. Speaking of which, any news from Pharaoh Spire? I sent Hunslet over to the capital to perform recon. The anti-air defenses of Jackson's Landing are still active. They took offense at her transponder codes and nearly shut her up for good. It doesn't tell us much. The Spire is a state-of-the-art building. They'll be automated. True enough. So, for now, we keep on keeping on. Maybe this Marlow we ran I into... I did a bit of digging. He's a Wayland yutani bioengineer. No one's heard from him for years. Well, they have now. So what do you want to do, Administrator? We better work together. All right. Then start with what happened back there. Hayes, it's really... Listen, Harper. When you get crazy like that, you put every single one of us at risk. We need to know what happened. If it was that special feeling of It yours. wasn't. I snapped, okay? I heard a name, and I snapped. What are you talking about? Cassandra. That's the name I heard. That's the name of my daughter. You have a daughter? Here on Lethe? Don't you think that was worth mentioning? She hates my guts, all right? I wasn't around much when she was little. We haven't spoken since her mother's funeral. Becca just rotted from the inside out. Folk do that here. It's the main reason I joined up way back then. I had to get out, you know? Is this working? Yes? Good. Administrator Hayes and Sergeant Harper to the lab. If, if you would. Hold that thought, Sergeant. We're not done here. Ah! Thank you both for coming. Out with it, Doctor. There's a lot going on. More than you know. I've been analyzing your recent encounters with the Darwin era cross-referencing with survivor reports, and, well, I, I won't bore you with the details. And yet you are. Easy, Sergeant. Doctor, what have you found? In short, they have found a way to walk among these critters, as you put it. Some cultists seem to carry a preliminary step of the specimen in some sort of device, here, right between their lungs. This allows them to move around older creatures, while your Marines are systematically attacked. Fascinating, isn't it? Just what we needed. More good news. What can we do? At the moment? Uh, nothing, I think. Unless you've revised your policy regarding live specimens, Administrator. She didn't, and she's right. No creatures allowed. End of discussion, Doc. <sighs> this just gets better and better, doesn't it? All the more reason to save everyone we can. Like you said. Or are you only here for your daughter? Cassandra's part of it. Maybe even the largest part, but it's not the whole. Wouldn't want you thinking I'm a hypocrite now. How old is she? She'd be... 17 now. If she's even alive. You've seen these psychos. They're experimenting on people, on their genes. And they gave my daughter's name to their pet project. That can't be a good sign. What would they be after? I'm not sure. I've been having... Flashes. I guess you'd call them visions. Nothing I can really explain, but sometimes it's like I can... feel what those creatures are thinking. Well... I guess these maniacs would find that useful. I know, right? If Cass and I share this ability, maybe they're looking for her. Or worse, she joined them willingly. I don't believe it. I mean, she's your daughter. She's probably just as stubborn as a USCM sergeant. But what if they did something to her? What if she's changed and I don't recognize her anymore? Would she even recognize me? It's okay. We'll find her. You got this, Jonas. <laughs> it's been years since anyone called me that. Let's to Otago. Otago, do you Shit. copy? What now? Hunslet was circling around the ship when she picked up movement. Looks like recon paid off. The bad news is, those creatures are really interested in us. If we let even one of them get on board the Otago, this is over. Agreed. Looks like it's time to kick ass.
That's twice now you've saved our asses. Starting to make me look bad. Don't go reading too much into it, Harper. Turns out blowing stuff up's cathartic. Better than booze, and that's the truth. On the subject of truth, how are you handling your flashes? Well, the sensation's overwhelming when it kicks in, and painful as hell. Makes me a liability in the field. So, what do we do? From here on out, I'll stick to running oversight from the ARC. It's best I don't get in the way. Perhaps you should speak to Bookard, Kabiri, or Becker. Doc Buzzkill? Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe Bookard if it gets worse. Pharaoh Spire to USS Otago. USS Otago, do you receive? That's Director Price. I don't believe it. They're still alive. Just what we needed. More suits and ties. Director Price, this is Deputy Administrator Michael Hayes of Pioneer Station. Oh. My report suggests that all hands were lost during the recent unpleasantness. Unpleasantness? Pioneer was overrun by... I don't by... believe we've been introduced. Sergeant Harper, USCM. Indeed. We've had some trouble here ourselves, Administrator. With these creatures swarming around, we've had to put Pharaoh's Spire on lockdown. But my commandos finally managed to restore the SATCOM relay of Jackson's landing. This is a terrible time for everyone, but I'm gratified to see that the Wayland yutani quarantine protocols are working. I authorized them, Director. I didn't see any other choice. We've been trying to contain the outbreak ever since. And now you've commandeered a USCM vessel and its crew. You're proving much more resourceful than your psych profile suggests. You did the right thing, Maiko. Unfortunately, it seems that our superiors don't share your, uh, work ethic. Meaning? Three hours and fifty-five minutes ago, the Cerberus Protocol began a countdown to its Phase 2. Phase 2? Nuclear sterilization. Nuclear sterilization? As in of the planet? This planet we're all stranded on. I'm afraid Wayland yutani leaves no room for mistakes, Sergeant. This Phase 2 came as a surprise. Even for me. I'd find another job. I will consider it, Sergeant. But we're not out of options yet. The sterilization satellites are coming online. There's still time to deactivate the system through Pioneer Station. In fact, I already sent a team there, but I've lost contact with them. <sighs> I see. But, with the help of your men, Sergeant, Maiko's knowledge of the station and my level of clearance, we have a chance. I'm asking you to trust me. Then I guess we better get a team up there ASAP, Director. Good. Should you require any further assistance, I'll be on comms. Looking good from out here. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Good work, Marines. Shit! It's coming to us! You corporate ladies better start explaining what the hell happened out there. It appears my superiors have been very thorough in their exploitation of Lethe. Tell me something I don't know. The 77 Uprising. Does that ring a bell? I was there. On the wrong side of history, by the way. I know your fucking company would rather shoot innocents than lose a dollar. What are you hiding, Price? Harper, calm down. Pointing fingers won't do any good now. I'm sorry. Am I still in charge here? We need a plan, and a plan I can get behind. No more satellites or override bullshit. My men, these people, we need to leave, and soon. We still have a few days ahead of us. Maybe enough to repair the Otago. The Otago's toasted! You've seen this ship. It's barely a base. Perhaps your chief engineer will know more on that matter. It's worth a try. I'm sure Corrigan will help us out. Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. A fine study, if I may say so myself. Ma'am.
Corrigan, listen. These nukes, they're about to... Save your breath, Sarge. I heard. Then I need you to be honest with me. You reckon the Otago could take off? Sergeant, you know her. She was made to last. The bit of care and the right materials, I can assure you that this beauty will fly again. But surviving these missiles? Space? That's a whole different ball game. Can't just stay in low orbit like Pioneer Station? You really want to bet low orbit will remain safe once Phase 2 hits? Hayes is right, Sergeant. If we want to escape this rock, our only option is a better shield and enough choir tubes for everyone. All right. So what do you need, specifically? A damn miracle. But specifically? A massive source of energy for the shield. That only solves one of our problems, though. Our cryosleep control panel was damaged during the crash, and we lost the gas mixing chip. Without it, hypersleep will be unstable. At best. You let me worry about that. First things first, the shield. Let's have a word with that director of yours, Hayes. In the meantime, Corrigan, take care of the ship, but do it fast. You got it, Sarge. Thanks. Building better worlds, huh? Time to live up to your tagline, Director Price. Is there something on Lethe we could use to boost our shields? Our chief engineer believes an external power source could do the trick. Pharos Spire might well have- Forget Pharos. There's no power source like that here. I have a better idea. But first, I need some guarantees. Would my employees and I be allowed aboard the Otago? What would be safe on your ship? Do you really think we have time for a deal? A deal is the very thing that separates us from these creatures, Sergeant. The one I'm offering is simple. I need to get aboard the Otago. In exchange, I will recover your daughter. Cassandra? Is she alive? As director of the Wayland yutani operations on Lethe, I have full access to the personal data transmitters surgically implanted in the colonist. Therefore, I can confirm that your daughter is indeed very much alive. Where is she? One of my associates, Theo Stern, is tracking her PDT as we speak. Listen to me! The clock is ticking, Sergeant. I need your word. You have it, Director. Please, tell us where we can find enough energy for the shield. What you're looking for can be found in an atmospheric processor. The same technology that allows humans to breathe on this rock. One of them. Sigma-12 is still running on standby thanks to its power core. You see, Sergeant? We did build better worlds. All right. Send a squad there. I'll guide you. One dead queen, one power core. I don't want to jinx it, but this feels like our first real win. I wouldn't be so quick to celebrate. Any news from Price? We'll contact her. But first, you need to see Bookard. Hayes, I'm fine. I just need to know Cassandra's safe. I'm sure she is. Sergeant Martinez, what's your assessment of our new find? The APC? She's a bit banged up, but nothing we can't beat back into working shape. Should be able to deploy a bigger fire team from the next stop. Good to know. Come on, Sergeant Harper. Let's get you to the med bay. Stay. With all due respect, Deputy Sergeant, you look like hate. shit. Well, thanks, Bookard. Really helpful. So, he finally decided to face his problems before they became everybody's problems? Hey! Soldiers talk, Sarge. You can't prevent that. They're on your side, Harper. They need you. I'm hoping that once you get clear of the planet, well, the Hive, you no longer suffer these attacks. Until then, take this. It's a sedative. It should manage the worst of the symptoms. Good. Because I've got a job to do. I'll see you on the bridge. All right, Director. Where's my daughter? My associates did not let you down, Sergeant. Last time we spoke, Stern was about to find Cassandra. With any luck, he's on his way back to Pharos already. Can I talk to her? I'm afraid these damn storms will prevent that. But I promise you, she'll be safe in our headquarters. <sighs> Did you keep your end of the bargain, Sergeant? We got the power core. My chief engineer is working on it. That leaves us with a cryosleep problem. But maybe we could find a vessel with the proper gas mixing chip. Somewhere in Jackson's Landing, perhaps? I checked with Corrigan. They won't be compatible. But the bison we saw at Berkeley's dock just might. The what? An old bison class hauler. The Montero, now docked at Berkeley. Back in 77, rebels used it to flee this rock. And who would blame them? Yet Command ordered us to stop the ship. Standard boarding party. In and out. And you reckon we could find the right chip inside? Well, the Montero's there, right? We saw it. 
So I guess no one's used those cryoslink chambers in a long time. We have to be sure. Even a slight mistake in the gas mix will be fatal. I know, I know. It's a long shot. But it's the only one we can afford to take right now. Sergeant, I have reason to believe that a former Wayland yutani scientist, Joseph Marlowe... Oh, we're familiar with that name. Is that so? Well, he could be the architect of this outbreak. I appreciate it will not accentuate your trust in the company, Sergeant Harper. But my teams have reported that the Montero has been buzzing with activity these past few days. Which is highly unusual for a grounded ship. Someone's trying to escape, just like us. Do you think it could be that cult director? The Darwin era? Yes. I have reason to believe they're already in control of the Montero. All the more reason to go there. I don't want these bastards anywhere near the Otago. This time, we're doing things my way. I'm counting on you, Hayes. Oh, and director? You better have my daughter. Or you'll never set foot on the Otago. for the father. Harper! There you are, Cassandra's father. Oh, I am so honored to be in your presence. Marlo wants you to know that the father of the voice has a place amongst us. Take him to the containment cell. I said take him. Everything I suspected about the device, it's true. Marlos found a way to suspend the gestation process, and yet... Your prisoner is recognized as part of the Hive. Sure, I suspect he has no direct control over these now creatures, shut but... shut up, Doc. <clears throat> All right, friend. You'd better start talking now, because that red button is getting real compelling. I don't talk. I only listen. To what? Her voice. Cassandra's voice. Don't you fucking say her name! Why? Her name is sacred. Her name is the key. You mother- The key? Yes! Cassandra has opened our minds to the Hive. Through her voice, we understand their purpose. With her guidance, we feel what they feel. By her teachings, we reach a new stage of evolution- Where is she?! Where it all began, of course. With the Maker. With Marlo. I need to talk with Price. Becker, keep an eye on him. Harper, wait. I'm sure she has a situation under control. Here! Of all places! What a blessing! Fascinating. Really fascinating. It's... wait! What happened? Where's Cassandra? I'm truly sorry, Maiko. I did everything I could, but we've lost contact with our rescue party, and- Where is she, you lying piece of shit? With Marlo? Is she working with you? What? No. Cassandra's alive. Stern was just about to find her. Where? She's at Tantalus. English, for fuck's sake! It's an underground lab. The Wayland yutani installed it long before my time. I didn't know anything about it, I swear. Send me the coordinates. Send them now. We're going there. Maiko, please, you have to believe me. I can explain everything. And you will. People need to see the true face of the company. But right now, Harper needs my help. Beautiful 
with security measures. That's weird. Give me a moment to download all the data. Oh my god. Harper, can you see this? Harper? Yes. I can. Ever easy, my Cassandra. I am not your Cassandra. Your old life is done. Your ascended consciousness chafes at being trapped in this inelegant, obsolete body. But I need you. Humanity needs you. Let me go. This will help you rest. I know it can't be easy. Sleep now. Yes. Sleep. Your namesake was forever ignored. But you? I will always heed your warnings. Together, we will guide the faithful to a glorious future. The cradle is prepared. But be gentle with her. She is our bridge to a better humanity. Micah, tell me you've got a location for this compound. That was Cassandra, wasn't it? Yes. Where did they take her? I'm looking. But someone did a thorough job of erasing some of these files. I'm uploading what's left to the Otago's mainframe. Got technical specs for this cradle, a list of test subjects. Otherwise, nothing. Why blow up your own laboratory? Where's my daughter? Oh, I had nothing to do with the laboratory's destruction. I'm afraid you'll have to ask Director Price. What the hell are you talking about? Your mission was to secure the data in Project Cassandra. As she couldn't access it herself, she sent your team. Then yours. We all became expendable the moment your precious Otago received the data she wanted. That fucking woman. And my daughter? Is she expendable too? Not to me. Her gift makes all of this possible. Where is she? I can't tell you. only interested in securing his research for the company. He couldn't trust anyone other than himself, so he surrounded himself with precisely that. Where is Cassandra? I can't tell you what I don't know. Like I said, Marlowe has trust issues. But I can tell you one thing. That pain you experience whenever you make contact with the Hive, it is nothing to what your daughter experiences. She is in constant action. What the fuck have you done? We needed him! Like he said, he didn't know anything. Well, he sure as hell can't tell us anything now. Hansa, we're done here. Bring them back to the barn. Copy that. You got room for one more? 
No way in hell I'm going back to Fire Spire. I'll be black bag for sure. Okay, but you're gonna earn your keep. Suits me just fine. But there's one thing I can't figure out. How does it help Price if the files she wants are on the Otago? Hayes, do you copy? Hayes, can you hear me? Harper, you all right? Harper! Come on, come on. Got it. Pity. There's no other way. External comms. I don't know. The ship, she's acting strange. Our bulkheads are wide open. We're inviting all the creatures aboard. Get me back online, Chief. We got Harper's squad in the field. Working on it, but I could use another pair of hands. Defensive perimeter offline. Defensive perimeter offline. Someone's screwing with us. Haze to all hands. Our plasma turrets just shut down. Martinez, I want our response teams to get those turrets back online. Already on it. Deploying now. Cargan, I'm coming to you. We need external comms back. Harper just lost it. Becker! Doc! I don't have time for this. No way. I'm not leaving any wounded troops behind. You don't understand there's something! <gasps> What's wrong? Booker! Get out of there! No! <laughs>
That's that's far uh, enough, Hayes. Why? Why did you do it? I owe an immeasurable amount of money to the company. Price needed the data and the ship. Turns out I could provide her with both and erase my debt. Finally. So funny. What the hell happened here? Becker, our xenobiologist. He was in debt with the company, with Price. I think she placed him here. He set the damn creature loose so she could steal the Otago. I handled it. That woman's a weasel. Should have quit long ago. Yes? Who's to say you've quit now? Who's to say you're not another spy? Ease down, Administrator. I don't feel like easing down. Look, Price tried to double-cross me, too. I'll do anything for a rematch. You have my word. The word of a Wayland yutani employee. And a professional killer at that. Yeah, what's the difference with that sergeant of yours? Do not bring Harper into this. I'm sorry. How's he doing? Not great. I have to check with Book... I mean, in the med bay. You know what? Go see him. But remember, you want to bring Price down, I can help you get into Pharaoh's Spire. It's got to be worth a try. Price is our only link to Cassandra, to the real Marlowe. But if you try anything, you go down with her. I'll keep that in mind, ma'am. How's he doing? We managed to stabilize him. But without Bookard, I'm not sure for how long. Maybe we should just put him in cryo sleep already and get the hell out of here. Not until I get Cassandra from Marlowe. Harper needs his daughter. Do you really think she's out there? Is she even alive? She is. I'll find her. Stern offered his... help. That mercenary? Can we trust him? Seems that Price knows where Cassandra is. And I don't see how we could get into Pharaoh's Spire without him. Not much of a choice, huh? <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're getting better at this. Corrigan told me how you handled the critter. Ballsy move. I did what I had to do. Administrator Hayes? Are you up to going after Price? What if I'm not? Don't worry. I'll be in the APC, keeping an eye on Stern. All right, then let's do this. For Harper. Yes. For Harper. Together we can fix this. Together? After all these deaths? If memory serves me right, you largely contributed to these casualties, Micah. You activated the Cerberus Protocol, correct? I did. I had to. Right! You did it because you understand. You understand the companies and the general interest are one and the same. Marlo was right. Well before he went crazy, that is. The things he found in that mine. What they could mean for pharmaceutics, space travel, security. The applications are virtually limitless. I wouldn't want any of that. Then think about the revenues these creatures represent. Imagine. Space stations a hundred times bigger and safer than Pioneer. So in the end, that's what this is about? Money? Numbers? How could you be such a machine? Really? Oh, not you, Maiko. Spare me the whistleblower lecture, will you? 
Who do you think I am? A synth? <laughs> Excuse me? A synth. I've pretty much built this world. You really think a synth would have handled half of what I've done on Leafy? It all makes sense now. What? Michael, listen. Your assessments. Your poise. Two of your teams left for dead. Your extensive knowledge of the station. Of the atmospheric processors. I'm the damn director of that rock. Don't you get it? And yet, you couldn't stop that protocol. Would you listen to me? Everything out there, it's mine. I could have saved these people. But you didn't. So much power, and you did nothing with it. Except protecting the assets of this fucking company. We could have talked. Harper. He would have welcomed you on board. But you didn't think of that, did you? You didn't think of your own life. Not a single time, right? Do you think a human would do that? Micah. These assets? Marlowe's research? I don't have it anymore. It's all uploaded somewhere on the Otago. Burn it! Print it! Sell it to Siegson or the UPP for all I care. But take me with you, please. Cassandra, where is she? Is she even alive? Do you have that stored somewhere in that carbon processor of yours? Stop it! I am not a synth. <sighs> Look, she's probably with all their prisoners. In their city, below Old Devi. A city? Marlowe's lair. Ancient and... alien. God, he was so obsessed with that place. And then he became obsessed with her. He wouldn't keep Cassandra anywhere else. Now please, take me with you! No. Maiko! Look at me! I'm not a synth! I doubt you're human. Maiko? Listen to me! I'm not a fucking synth! I am not a synth! I'm not a synth! I'm not a synth. I'm not a synth. in position. Now! Okay, ma'am. I'm on it. Stay. Defenses are set, Deputy Hayes. Administrator We're holding for now. No. Damn, he's not doing any better, is he? No! His vital signs are falling fast and hard. If we get him away from these creatures, he might recover. Maybe. Cassandra? <laughs> we'll get her back, Jonas. I promise. How can I help? Shield operational. Cryosleep chambers ready. The moment of truth has arrived, Hayes. Are we going through those platforms or what? No. Not yet. We need to hold the line. Are you crazy? Those creatures are everywhere. Cerberus is about to go nuclear and- According to Price, Marlowe took control of an ancient city. I'm not sure of its exact nature. There could be dozens of prisoners there. I won't abandon them. Cassandra's alive, for sure. We still got time before Cerberus launches. It'll be tight, but we can do it. Hayes, are you okay risking everyone on this boat? Yes. Because that's the job. We save everyone we can. Everyone. You and me, we were part of this. We kept our heads down and did our jobs and let all this happen. We have a responsibility to those people, because no one else at Wayland yutani ever saw them as more than numbers on a balance sheet. Well, if you put it like that, I guess I'm in. Good, because I need you on the APC. Look 
find her. We have to find Cassandra. Damn. Looks like these guys ran out of fuel. Welcome to my tomb. Who the fuck are you? His legacy. This is gigantic. This whole planet's a freak show. So, this used to live in that city? Probably. See its chest? This was a host for one of those creatures. How long has this thing been here? This ain't the time to be playing archaeologist. Come on, there's a passage over here. Sandra, can you hear me? Who... who are you? I'm a friend of your father's. Dad! He's here. No. It's waking up. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to hurry. Holy shit! Move it, Hayes! Get her out of here! Can you run? Cassandra.
Hansel, Hansel, let's get the hell out of here before these nukes detonate. We did it. We did it. 